Hey Ryan, this is James over at Realty Candy. Um, it's been kind of hard to catch you on the phone and you're a busy guy and I've got a few things going on. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you real quickly kind of what these listings look like. And um, hopefully it'll answer a few questions. So just one quick caveat on this is that um, if when, when IDX Broker considers your listings, it's a property that if it's co-listed, you're the primary agent on. And if, if you're a, a co-listed agent, then typically that won't uh, display as one of your listings. So I just want to dive in here and show you real quickly kind of what we see. And maybe you can help me see if we're missing some properties and stuff like that. Let's get those. This should be it's kind of semi-automatic, but sometimes there are some glitches with this. So let's hop in here and take a look. So basically, the two active listings that they show for you are these two. And these don't show your rental listings for some reason. So if you have rentals that aren't showing, let's take a look at those. This is where uh, your sold and pending listings are. And... I'll be honest with you, I don't know how long ago these were done or whatever, but let's just, uh, this one's been seen quite a few times, this one on Cedar Street. Um, and it looks like it's actually got a pretty high listing ID number, so that looks like it might be, uh, you know, a, a fairly current listing. So let's just look real quick here at the, at the information. Uh, you have a sold price. And it's put yes to display on your on your property. So that, that's probably about right. The off market listings, these are properties that have gone off market. They're either pending or they went off the market, like maybe you didn't sell it or whatever. So with these, what you need to do with these is, is just hop in here, you click on one of these, and you would just set you know, the listing price there, like this one, we that's, uh, you know, you can edit these, let's hit save. Um, I thought there was actually, uh, so this one's the same as this one. Looks like same unit. Um, so what we want to do is we want to hit the status link here. Oh, my brother's calling me just a second. And and you would put sold here, and then you would put the sold price. Like let's just say in this case. You know, you put eight, you know, forty six thousand, and then put the date here. So you, you would, uh, you know, it's probably not that old of a listing. Well, let's just see what the format is here. Okay, so I would just select that, and then what I'm going to do is just come in here and put, you know, twenty nineteen one, you know, fifteen, something like that. Then I put save, and now when I do that, that's going to go into my sold listings. So that's that's really important to do, because if not, like it says, if this has kept this unknown status after 60 days, then they go away. So that, that just needs to be updated. Uh, and you can hit that status uh, button there, and then they'll stay indefinitely, as it says here in your sold listings. Supplemental. Uh, these are properties that have been manually added in here. And these were the ones that were showing here. I don't know if you added them or one of your assistants or whatever. But, uh, you know, you can right here create, you can add a new listing. I'm just going to take a look at the edit listing data on one of yours. But you can change, you know, the property subtypes here. You can change the property type. You can add all this stuff in. Uh, you can add images back from that and you can show whether this dis this listing should display if you want it to show with your supplemental listing so if you say well this one's too old i don't want this anymore you can just put no 
and then hit Save Changes. You can add a video. Um, let's go back here. You can where it's uh, you can add a video tour or uh, you know an, a a uh, a YouTube video or something like that. If you have that, you can put those in there. And so this even allows you to show open houses. And then if you want to edit the images on one of these, you know, you can click here, you can add a new image, you can put them in a different order, you can remove images. So that's how those supplementals work. So I think what what we need to do probably right now is hop in here on this and if you want to just update the status on all of these so that the ones that are sold we can they'll start showing on your sold listings all right thank you